515 years ago, one of the most imaginative and intelligent men who ever lived came up with this wonderful, amazing idea. It just took us 515 years to find somebody with a brain small enough to build it and try it. Nyligen försökte ett svensk-brittiskt team skriva flyghistorien då man konstruerade Leonardo da Vinci's fallskärm från år 1485 för att testa om den skulle fungera. Projektet genomfördes i Mapumalanga, Sydafrika. Leonardo da Vinci was the most fascinating and wildly eccentric man. In one lifetime he came up with more ideas than a huge corporation with a great think tank at their disposal. Everything from painting the Mona Lisa and dissecting human bodies to this wonderful design for the first parachute. And he wasn't shy. He says if you build it 7.2 meters by 7.2 meters, just like I say in the drawing, I guarantee you it'll return a man safely to earth from any altitude. And all of this from a man who's never seen a balloon, never seen an aeroplane, never seen anything fly, except as he sat on the ground envying the birds. What an Lyckas med det här så skriver vi verkligen flyghistoria. Det är 500 år sedan som den, har, som den första fallskärmen blev eh, uppfunnen. Och eh, idag blir så fall den första gången som det beprövas. I can't believe we've had 500 years to get ready for this and we're still in a rush. But I'm not doing any of the work, so I suppose that's the best thing. I'm really very excited now. I want to know what's going to happen. Will it fly? Won't it fly? All the experts that we've managed to speak to, whether they're pilots or balloon people or parachute people, say that it's not going to work in this way or it's not going to work in that way. Maybe it could fly. Secretly, privately, I dream that it could fly. It's going to be a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful experience. And I just can't wait. Stay with me to make sure these lines are all clear and all hanging yeah. how you like. Yeah, they're fine. She can fly with me. I wonder what you think. I wonder what you think. 500 feet a minute descending. Okay, my operator is going. Jumper is south of the balloon. So it's time to go. Here we go. So far, I'm flying. <laughs> Mr. Da Vinci, maybe you were right. There goes the balloon. Mr. Da Vinci, you want to know what it feels like? The parachute is perfectly stable now. As I'm getting low. Not even a ripple, not even an oscillation. Mr. Da Vinci, you kept your promise. Thank you. Thank you very much. Landning med ballongen var helt otrolig. Vi landade i ett fält med giraffer och zebras och antiloper och alltihopa. Jag har sett dem att de har landat nere i ett fält med, med träd och det ser ut som att alla är välbehållna och allting. Vilken känsla för att vara med att bevisa att Da Vinci verkligen hade rätt. It's been, it's been suggested that I have some sort of special affinity or a uh, special common bond between me and Leonardo da Vinci. I think it's quite funny, really. I mean, we both had long hair, but I think intellectually I'm closer to perhaps Homer Simpson than Leonardo da Vinci. <laughs> Cheers, Mr. Da Vinci. Well, thank then. you very much for a oh, very nice ride. Go on. Oh, baby. Thank you. Thank you. 
Mr. Da Vinci, thank you very much indeed for the ride. Thank you very much for the ride. But now, it's time to go.